reason why it's only spins on this side uh, is because both on the front and the rear I have opened it. My plan today is to wire up the fan in the engine. Um, maybe gonna do something else also. But the fan, I don't know why I have two fuses on this. But the fan needs to be wired uh, to the ECU. So the ECU can, can control this on and off. And I already have two cables. Uh, these were from my previous setup when I had the VR6 engine in this, and I also had the, st the stock, or I don't don't think it was stuck to this car, but I had um, the stock brake booster uh, from at least it was from a Mark One. It was the bigger brake booster. Anyway, this uh, on the Mark One. You have like uh, a sensor for the brake light and this is um, like a pressure sensor which actually sits on the brake booster uh, itself and these two wires are for this previous setup with this brake pressure sensor on the brake booster but since I'm not doing I don't I don't have the, I have the brake booster from uh, C7 A6 Audi. Um, I can use these two instead to control the fan. And I have marked this one as well inside the car. So I know this goes inside the harness and into the car. And yeah, that's my plan today. So, these are the two wires coming from the engine bay. And the only thing I have to do is to one of them I have to go uh, connect to a ground and the other one I have to connect to the relay which the ECU is controlling. Side of the car. The only thing I need to do is uh, to change the, I guess it's not connectors, but the ends of the wires in the engine bay and then connect it to the fan and then check if it will work. I don't have my my computer with me, uh, so not sure if I will be able to, to check this uh, today because I need to check if the temperature is working the sensor, the ECU is reading the temperature of the water, the coolant, and that it also turns on the fan when it's reaching whatever temperature I have set in the, in the ECU. But let's change the, the wires. These two. change so I can connect them to these two. Uh, since these two I've not uh, marked these with anything I need to find out which one is going to be ground because depending on how you wire it if the blue one is going to if you put the blue one to ground or the black one to ground it depends which way the fan is going to go if it's going to like suck the air into the engine or push the air out of the engine so 
I've seen I put marker on this one and it, the blue one needs to be ground. So, yeah, I need to find out which one of these is ground. Now the fan and the fan uh, should be good to go. The ECU should turn it off and on uh, with it. Um, when the hotter, <laughs> when the when the coolant, when the water gets too hot, as I said, I don't have my computer. So if I had my computer, I would connect it to the ECU, so I can read out uh, the temperature the ECU is reading to actually see if it's reading any temperature at all, uh, just in case I wired something wrong or the sensor is not working properly. So that's what I would do, and then I would run the car until it reaches the temperature uh, which is set to and then see if the see if the fan turns on so yeah that's it for today